with this spreadsheet we can calculate evapotranspiration using the Pema Montes equation with only weather data from a weather station. Here we have data from a location in southern Spain in 2018 and we have values for each half hour period. So we have a total of 48 uh, values per day. The weather station is recording temp air temperature, relative humidity, wind speed at a given height set and solar radiation. Then these are the input data for the calculation. Then in white we can see all the variables that are calculated in order to determine the latent heat flux using the penman monteith equation which is written here and more details can be found in this reference of the book principle of agronomy for sustainable agriculture chapter 9 here we have the equation and the different parameters in the equation are delta, the slope of the saturation vapor pressure curve versus temperature, net radiation, G, which is soil heat flux, rho Cp, which is the heat capacity of air at constant pressure per unit volume, aerodynamic resistance, vapor pressure deficit, and then gamma is the psychrometric constant and RC is the canopy resistance. We have values of canopy resistance for day and night periods for grass, uh, free water, a pond or a wet soil. We can substitute these values here to get the calculations change for different surfaces. For instance, if we move to a pond, the spreadsheet would change the calculations to show the latent heat flux for that type of surface. Then, the most of the calculations are related to uh, solar radiation and net radiation. RB is the long wave radiation loss and that requires knowing the solar transmissivity. This is calculated on the one hand by knowing the actual solar radiation, Rs, and then we calculate the potential solar radiation. In other words, the solar radiation under clear sky conditions, which is calculated here. To show some uh, example of the use of this equation, we have shown we have calculated uh, the values for all the um, all the days and here we can see the plots of potential solar radiation in red and actual solar radiation in blue for day of year 210 in the year 2018 and here we have the values of net radiation and latent heat flux throughout the day. We see that the evaporation is below net radiation during part of the day and it is greater than net radiation during the remainder of the afternoon. This spreadsheet will be available from the link shown in the tutorial.